Hi, this is Dr. Michael Cuthbertson at PhysioFit. If you're an average American, it's likely that you're one of the 25 million people who experience snoring and sleep apnea. Did you know that doing mouth and tongue exercises for 10 minutes a day every day for three months has been clinically proven to decrease your incidence of snoring and improve your sleep apnea? In addition to addressing issues such as headaches and TMJ dysfunction, I'm going to cover 10 exercises that will drastically help to improve your quality of life. This first exercise we call a lip trace. What you're going to do is you're going to take your tongue and you're going to place it between your teeth and your lips. Just like this. And then you're going to do a clockwise or a counterclockwise circle tracing your tongue around the front of your mouth. I'll demonstrate. Do that for 10 times each direction. This next exercise we call the tongue slide. What you do is you place your tongue at the front of your mouth, right behind your front teeth and then slide your tongue backwards. Do that 20 times and then continue to the next exercise. This next exercise we call tongue push-ups. What you do is you place your tongue on the hard palate on the roof of your mouth and then just try to suck it upward flat onto the roof of your mouth. After you found that you can do that easily, you can improve the challenge of that exercise by sucking it up onto the roof of your mouth and then slowly lowering your jaw. Do that 20 times as well. Next, we're going to do tongue push downs. Place the front of your tongue behind the back of your bottom teeth and then try to force your tongue toward the floor of your mouth. Do that about 20 times. Now we're going to do what's called a spoon hold. Get a spoon, place it underneath your tongue, and then close your mouth on top of the spoon. Don't let your teeth contact the spoon and then hold that for as long as you're able to, 30 seconds to a minute or even longer. If you want to make it even more challenging, add weight to the spoon, coins or some other weighted object, and then hold it in that position, making sure that you keep the spoon out straight in front of you without letting it drop down. It looks like this. Now we're going to do what's called a cheek puff. It's exactly what it sounds. We're going to puff out the cheek to one side, hold that for five seconds, and then do the same thing to the left side, doing that 10 times left and right. It looks like this. Now we're going to do what's called a cheek hook. It's exactly what it sounds like. Imagine casting a fishing pole out to try to catch a fish, except this time we're going to catch ourselves. Take a finger, make sure it's clean, or put a glove on, and then hook your cheek. You're going to pull it out and try to pull it back in with the force of your mouth. We're going to be working on the buccinator muscle. It looks like this. Do that 10 times each side. Now we're going to do what's called the Masako Maneuver. You can do this one of two ways. You can stick your tongue out comfortably as far as you can, placing your tongue between your teeth, or you can place your tongue between your front lip, your upper lip, and in front of your teeth. It looks like this. And then you'll swallow deeply.
you would do that about 20 times. Now we're going to do vocalization. Vocalization in any form, whether it's singing or some of these design exercises, is supposed to strengthen the muscles at the back of the throat, the pharyngeal muscles. It also helps that uvula, that little flap of skin that you see hanging in the throat, by getting those muscles to move upward. You can do it in a number of different ways. The first one is simply holding the note ah. You do it for a prolonged, sustained period of time. Ah. Or you can do it intermittently by doing ah, 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 ah. You can also do what we call arc and unk, back and forth. It, it sounds like this. Arc, unk. Arc, unk, arc, unk, arc, unk. If you do the intermittent form, you do that 20 times with whatever you choose to do. This last exercise is actually for the deep muscles of the neck. The way that we do this is we're going to elongate the neck and tuck our chin down slightly. And then you're going to take your hand and apply pressure underneath your chin toward the top of your head. As you do this, you make sure that the tongue remains on the roof of your mouth. You would hold that for approximately 30 seconds to a minute. If you're like me, you'll probably struggle with these exercises at first, but stick with it. Remember the research shows us that if you do this for eight to 10 minutes every single day for at least three months, you will improve your quality of sleep. You'll have decreased snoring, improved sleep apnea, decreased headaches, and improved TMJ dysfunction. I appreciate you following along today, and remember, your potential is within reach.